last time on The Privateer. This is Adam. Adam was a privateer working a nine to five job to finance his passion for racing bikes. Last year, parts and training helped him get way faster, but success doesn't happen overnight. This year, his program has been turned up to 11 with full factory support. Will he be able to break into the pro ranks? We're about to find out. One of the biggest races of the year, EWS Whistler is just a week away and Adam is feeling the pressure to perform. Adam's life has been full throttle lately. Having fun on his bike has taken a backseat to training, travel, and sponsorship commitments. Before dropping into the most important race of the season, Adam needs to get some quality time on the bike. For some last minute prep, Adam heads down to Bellingham, Washington to brush up on some skills with cornering guru, Bryn Atkinson. <laughs> We're out here doing a corner clinic. We got Adam the privateer up there setting up. He's gonna hit the turns and we'll go from there. Oi! Stray liner! What do you think my line? Nah, mate, that ain't gonna cut it, eh? You know, we got two turns here, and you just straighten them out, which is all good and well for racing, but to progress as a rider, yeah. you know, we wanna see you just cup, cup, just whoosh. Who is doing that? Who's straight lining these things? Dude, everyone around here. Not happy. Brin's about to show us how it's done. Alright mate, you ready? Damn dude, how we can shred? <laughs> You've ripped like pretty good timing and everything like that. All I can see, like the only thing I'm really noticing is you're kind of just rushing through it. Yeah. Like you like kind of are just wanting to go a little bit faster. Yeah, it did then. That's why we're here at these like basic, basic turns mm -hmm. is because we want, I want you to be able to like see all those little changes, whether it's an inch or, you know, whatever. You just like find those little pockets and yeah. cause those pockets are like where you can just change direction. Dude, he nailed it. And I would probably just tell you to not really focus too much on like springing out. Mm -hmm. Do you try and focus on having smooth arcs? Oh yeah. Um, for, so like for these direction changes, I think the first run, I kind of chain cornered twice when I didn't need to. Yeah. Do you focus on that at all? Yeah, I always try and just find a nice smooth arc, like yeah. the whole way down the trail. I'll just try and think of it like, um, I don't know, essentially how water would flow down the trail, you know, yeah. without those big, <laughs> you know? I, like <laughs> I couldn't focus, he just roosted the shit out of me. Your change of direction is just a little too sharp. Yeah, you know? it's a little off. Nice little calves, not not really just like a wham, you know, just like nice. Do I want to come in slow at the start and build my speed yeah, through the... Yeah, for sure. All right, let's give that a go. That was better. I felt like I definitely got those last two turns actually better because I carried back a little bit more here yeah you were way less disruptive here yeah and then able to like kind of pump through that g out and you did the you finished the section like probably the best you have you know? that's what it felt like and that's kind of like how you got to ride in general like especially if you're mm. like just kind of checking out a track like something like enduro you get one run right yeah one run so if you start going down a trail and you're just like rushing in like whack whack you know yeah. ain't helping no one dude you know so if you can just link the whole trail together, like as one whole sequence, yeah, then it's gonna be so much better, so. I really felt like water that time. You did, dude, you look like water. Yeah. 
girl, look, now she calling Where I'm at, you know, girl, I was waiting for you Now I'm back on tour, girl You know that I was lying, I was texting your girls Why you hit me on the snap with my boy that's cold, girl But I was being cold, hooking up with homegirls in the past I see some cutty Oh, I changed out Oh Dude, you're like a, a, a pretty good, well-rounded rider. Like, I think that um, you just kind of need to focus on the things that we talked about today, you know, like backing it off a little bit here and there. And then yeah. I think a little bit of um, more focused time on the bike, like thinking about kind of what's happening with mm -hmm. the bike, like setup, you know, like, yeah. you know, whether it be bar position, like your suspension, like tires, pressure, you know, like yeah. just kind of get a feel for like, what's actually happening and kind of isolate that as well you know like hmm. so you like i don't know just eliminate the variables really dude like i said man you, you ride good. you ride well okay. you know um i think that um it's like it's it's clear like we've seen all the videos you know yeah that, um it's probably like uh more mental than anything yeah know? sure um and so like i think just try and focus on your, your, your form or something man a little distraction you know okay to get into your runs and and um yeah just keep going forward yeah good luck in whistler perfect be Thanks good to a lot. see you have a good one yeah it's gonna be good yeah can't wait no girl in the past you were always with me now i only see you in my dreams i would always say that you're my queen It's time to check in with Performex trainer, Todd Shumlik. Adam's been working hard to improve his form, and this will be his last opportunity to measure progress before EWS Whistler. So Adam, we're back in the gym here. It's been a while since we were here last. Uh, last time you did these, uh, uh, this training you know, on your series, it was, well, we, first, we didn't, I guess we made the mistake of not explaining that there was uh, strength test it was uh, yeah. not so much training it was performing these movements and seeing what your integrity was so both what stability range of motion uh, biomechanics overall to see what you performed and uh, that was the point the point to see you failed to see if, where you were weak and and, and and of course you were criticized heavily about it yeah, and, exactly and, exactly. as well and rightfully so I mean absolutely mm -hmm. I guess we kind of made the mistake of not explaining that that wasn't uh, your training mm -hmm. um, since that point Few months ago we'd done quite a bit of uh, training uh, not just those exercises obviously a variety of like I think five routines working on your mobility and your stability and your range of motion etc and more and uh, uh, I, I think you, you you can perform those exercises again and show you know give a little bit of inspiration of what can be done, done over a period of time to mm. improve on it about the squat that time it was a lot deeper yeah it was a, like almost doubled your range of motion of course we elevated your heels slightly mm -hmm. to eliminate some of that limited dorsiflexion for now which yeah. has improved we figured uh 25 30 percent you and i were testing recently from the past awesome. Now you've got that mobility to do the movement properly. Mm -hmm. People are gonna look at this and say, oh, it's only 225 pounds and whatever, I can yeah. do 400 pounds. Well, yeah, but before you couldn't because you just couldn't do the movement. You were asking mm -hmm. me, hey, Remy Metallier, how much does he lift? Well, yeah, again, he's got the movement, uh, the mobility, now he can, so now, I hate to say sky's the limit, but we've got room to add a lot more weight yeah. down the road. And uh, But we're working on the integrity here first and now the movement is night and day from that testing. Mm -hmm. So next up is we got the clean press, okay. another real technical biomechanical exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Often people see Aaron, you know, Gwyn, when he's performing the movement, they say, wow, look how solid, look how great the range yeah, of the mobility is, right? And they see that, that form and that 
and maybe you know you didn't quite demonstrate that last time yeah but again that was the point he's training right there you were performing a strength maximum test. Is that a max or that's just no, on just, that's just Tuesday morning? Teaching, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. I think it was Wednesday morning. Wednesdays? Yeah. This is my version, Performex version. Right. Right? So to develop for handlebar sports, two wheel sports. So again, you know the movement here. And we were just watching Aaron, you know, Gwyn in that movement. And mm -hmm. it's all about that developing that biomechanics, right? So lifting those elbows up high, using that shoulder strength. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a double fist pump. Now we're moving on. We can do a little instruction and uh, demonstration of the current routine you're on, uh, routine six. So uh, this being more strength and conditioning in preparation for Whistler DWS and the big events coming ahead. Todd, thanks for all the uh, training and life lessons this summer. I feel like, feel like a new man. Really? Really come a long way, I think, since it's, uh, our first testing this year. Yeah? Yeah, I can feel it on the bike and feeling it in the gym already. So. Perfect. This training is what, at least, I always say it's 50% mental. Yeah. And people say, well, what does that mean, I guess? Well, it's the fact that, that we're using the gym as a challenge to get out of your comfort zone. You know, to see the way you change your, your approach to something, whether you're saying, well, I'm going in here to fail or going in here to succeed or how am I going to look? I mean, isn't that a lot like racing or riding or mm -hmm. call it life? We're concerned about others and sometimes, and that's just nature, right? Mm -hmm. And now we are, you know, you're very focused on yourself and I can see that difference. Dude, I think you're totally ready for Seriously. these races. Yeah, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I feel super ready for it. Yeah. Never felt better. I've heard you're looking great. I mean, we rode a little bit together and you're going fast, man. Yeah, and, good and right now. Yeah, you're really, uh, hey, that's awesome. Next time on The Privateer, it's time to race.